Praise the Lord Church again. Amen. Okay, who doesn't understand Kiswahili so that I testify in Kiswahili? Okay, maybe everybody is uh, conversant with the Kiswahili. Okay. Okay, majina yangu naitwa We will be prepared for you, don't worry. Endelea kwa Kiswahili tutakutafsirizia. Tutasafsiri, endelea. Okay. Nilisikia mambo ya kumi naitwa Samuel Karanja. My name is Samuel Karanja. Kutoka Ngong. Alafu mimi nimeokoka Yesu Kristo ni bwana katika maisha yangu. I'm born again Christ is Lord over my soul. Niliokoka kitambo kidogo. I got born again long time ago. But uh, yale mambo ambayo nimepitia kama miezi mbili imepita. But uh, like two months that have passed have gone through so many things. Imebidi nishangae kama Mungu kweli iko ama but, Mungu anapiganiaga watu wake until I've wondered whether there is God and whether God fights for his people. Maana nilikuwa mwezi mmoja mmepita masikio yangu sikio yangu ya ya right imeanza kupotea pole pole. Like one month ago my right my right side here had started uh, losing. Na nikakosa kuanza kusikia. I started uh, losing failing to hear. Na sasa nikasikia kuna crusade ambayo iko stadium nikasema nitaenda niponywe ni yani nipokee uponyaji then i heard about the crusade at the stadium and i said i will go to receive my healing lakini wakati ule nilifika pale kwa stadium nikapimwa nika nikapimwa nika temperature when i arrived there i went through the medical checkup nika i was checked my temperature heart, nika pimwa heartbeat i was Mas. checked my heartbeat nikafika mahali pa kupimwa shukari nikasema hapana sita dungu wa mkono wangu then they, che- they were to check my blood blood level my blood sugar levels ni, and i said no nikambia wao madaktari ya kwamba mimi nataka sikio yangu sisikii vizuri na ni kama ita affect ingine nikose kusikia kabisa i told them i don't have the problem with my blood sugar my problem is my ears wakaniandikia rifaro wakaniambia kwamba on monday niende pale juu hospitali They gave, they gave me a referral to the general hospital on Monday. Lakini eh, sasa nilishindwa nilijiuliza kwa roho yangu. Nimetoka huko kuote ngongo kuja kwa stadium kupimwa temperature, kupimwa height, kutupimwa hizo vitu zote na masikio yangu bado inauma. But I asked myself I came all the way from home to come to the stadium only to be checked my blood temperature the temperature blood sugar and all those other things and still my ears are paining Nikasema waje niende kwa maombi I said let me go for prayers Kwa hivyo wakati ule nilifika kwa maombi sasa niliogopa ku kuanguka anguka kuangushwa <laughs> So when I got to the crew to the crusade for prayers I was so afraid of falling down falling down Kwa hivyo when is the sick to care So on Wednesday I never came out when people were being prayed. I went home with my sickness, my ears paining me. Sasa Thursday nikakuja tena wale wananiona. I came back again in the evening. Nikasema leo nitokee ama nisitokee. I said today should I come out or should I stay? Should I come out or stay? Sasa si kutokea si kutokea lakini sister mwingine kaniambia I did not come out but another sister wana ume wote wanaitwa pale mbele Oh man I've been called in front Nikaelewa mikono yangu juu hivi nilikuwa hapa nyuma I lift I lifted my hands while still at the back masikio yangu ikiuma my, my ears were still paining me Mama akakuja kaniambia bibi yako wako wapi Mom came and asked me where is your wife Nikamwambia alitoroka miaka mbili imepita I said she left me the two years ago Akaanza kusema huyu akaniangalia nikaona akasema she looked at my hands and said this man has uh, rebad very much huyu huyu mwanaume ameteseka sana by the way nimekuwa nikifanya kazi 24 hours nimekuwa nikichoma maidi saidi ile ya corner shop i've been uh, roasting corns that side of corner shop 24 hours 24 hours alafu ni, nimekuwa nikipata pesa mingi sana more than 5000 per day i've been profit. getting like 5000 a day profit nikiulizwa hiyo pesa iko wapi siwezi kukuambia but when you ask me where that money is i can't tell you two months ago ika, ikawa flattened like two months ago it went down na nikashindwa ni nini and i, I did not know what sasa nikasema leo nita yani nikasema hiyo thursday nitaombewa 
I said on Thursday now I will Sasa sikusikia ni nini mama alisema aliniambia mambo fulani fulani lakini sikusikia maana masikio yangu haiko inasikia vizuri But I did not hear because my ears had a problem Lakini jana masikio yangu imepona na nasikia vizuri But yesterday my ears got healed and I can now hear clearly Glory Glory And now I know because my job had gone down na najua ya kwamba nilikuwa nafikiria mama atanianza kunieleza nani huwa ananiy attack I thought I thought mama would begin telling me who is the witch that has been bewitching me lakini najua ya kwamba kazi yangu itarudi hivi karibuni I know my job will come back soon na na pia kuna mambo ambayo siwezi ambia kanisa and there are still there are other things that I cannot tell the church na kama kuna kuaga na one on one na 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 prophetess but if there is one on one with prophetess ningependa kujua ili at least kuna mambo nataka kumueleza in deep ya familia yangu there are things that I need to talk to her deep about my family ni eh ni 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 niamini ya kwamba atadeal nayo ili ni maisha yangu irudi kama kawaida I trust that she will do with it and my life will be back to normal amen amen Otherwise mbarikiwe sana. God bless you so much. Na nashukuru kwa sababu haya madhabahu. And I thank God for this order. And maana si rahisi kusimama na kuongea kwa mbele ya madhabahu. Because it is not easy to stand and talk before. Otherwise God bless you. God bless you sana.